this video is part two in my iPhone 13 accessories videos. So you just got this beautiful iPhone 13, whether it was the mini, pro, pro max, you invested quite a bit of cash on your shiny new toy. But even if you got it as a gift, right? This device is something that you want to protect. But everyone is different. You may be like me and drop your phone a lot, in which case you're gonna need something a bit heftier that has been drop tested and everything. Or you may be a lot more cautious and you never drop your phone, but you still want to protect against scratches every now and then. And if that's you, you might want a lighter case or even a skin for your phone. Something a bit more discreet, but that will keep your phone away from scratches as well. Or you may be looking for a case that protects, but also has multiple functions. So this video will cover a range of options touching on those different levels of protection and functionality. As I mentioned, this video is part of a series of iPhone 13 accessory videos, so make sure to check the links I'll leave in the description and at the end of this video. Today we're going to start with these three stylish options from Pitaka. My favorite, without question, is the Mag Easy Pro. This has a reinforced TPU frame, that lovely armid fiber as well, and, and it suits me because I like cases that have drop protection. I love the overhyping in the marketing materials as well, like three times the military grade drop protection. In English, I think it means they drop test the case from about 10 feet. It has a nice raised edge all the way through, which initially I thought would be a problem because I'm used to mouse which only has raised corners, uh, which leaves a bit of freedom on the sides. But actually, this has a very nice and smooth feel, so it will protect your phone when placing it face down and it doesn't get in the way when you're swiping in any direction. Another feature of this case that wins some good points for me is their interior lining. It's not the best I've seen when compared to Nomad, for example, but I understand they are trying to keep the case nice and slim too. But it is nice and soft, and it will look after the back of the phone, which I really appreciate. This case feels very tight to the phone, which gives me a really nice sense of security. And even if we didn't have that fiber lining, it means that dust particles and debris won't get in there in the first place. And the soft feel of armid fiber adds to that grip too, which means you're gonna be less likely to drop the phone in the first place. The camera bumper is a funny one. My initial reaction was, hmm, not sure about this one, but it grew on me. The reason it grew on me is because it has that really soft feel to it. So if you like fidgeting, this has a nice fidgetability. Is that, is that a word? I don't know. Charging through MagSafe is a breeze and I'm gonna say, I noticed that these magnets are super strong. I was in the kitchen the other day, must have been an accident. Now, I do cook. I placed the phone on top of a spaghetti bolognese sauce uh, and when I picked up the, the pot, the whole thing came with it. So yeah, very strong magnets, which means uh, car mounts will work great. Uh, now check out this other video here afterwards for more on that. One thing I noticed though, and I'm not sure it's a negative or not, is that you can feel some of the fiber at the back. It's not visible. What I'm saying is it is not 100% smooth. It's not gonna splinter your fingers or anything. It's actually barely noticeable. To be honest, I don't think you can even see it here using the iPhone 13 Pro's new macro shot video here, but you know, or, or my 100 mil macro lens. The other small criticism I have is the frame itself at the bottom here. I feel like it should be sturdier I know it must be a challenge for manufacturing to, you know, given all the cutouts that you've got at the bottom here, but it's a little bit on the flimsy side for me. And a final point on the Pitaka Pro case is that it's way less bulky than last year's 12 Pro Max version of it. it it's a huge improvement, actually. You know, that was super protective too, but you felt like you were holding a tank. This is much more manageable and comfortable to hold. Much better now. Then Pitaka has this ultralight option as well, the now classic Mag EZ which is now called MagEasy 2 and their Pitaka Air. These are ultralight cases. I reviewed them before on the channel as well. I know they are super durable, but the main thing about this case is how light they are. The MagEasy 2 is now 0.92 ounces and the Air case is 0.39 ounces, like 11 grams. Both made with genuine aramid fiber and the main difference here is the MagSafe support. Whilst the Air will charge through MagSafe and wireless chargers, it is not really what it's for, you know, so the connection isn't the best. What this is the best for is enjoying your device in a way that was probably closer to other manufacturers like Apple envisaged. So you're not rocking it completely naked, uh, but you get to enjoy, you know, your, your chosen color a little bit more. I love how modern the cutouts look as well and how exposed the buttons are. So you get to enjoy that original feel of the device a bit more. And if you have an Apple Watch, it doesn't matter what version of it, Pitaka has these beautiful straps as well, which follows that carbon fiber vibe. I, I will do a separate video on that actually. I'll just show you quickly what it looks like. I can see that they improved the protection of the back of the camera lenses as well, which is super important now with this humongous camera module on the iPhone 13. 
Uh, the feel of the Aramid fiber is very similar on both, but the air has a finer design. Personally, I prefer the bigger shapes at the back. It reminds me a bit more of carbon fiber that you see in motor racing style. But in terms of how it feels, this is a tiny bit softer than the on the MagEasy Pro. I don't feel any of those microscopic fibers getting caught in my fingers in these ones. Uh, I mean, it's barely noticeable in the first place, but... And talking about barely noticeable, this is a case from a startup brand called TAC. This caught my eye because of how light and thin they are as well. By the way, after watching this video, if you are interested in this case, they're kindly offering you, all my viewers actually, a 10% off. So just use Alex10 at checkout and they'll give you 10% off your order. So yeah, if you're looking for the thinnest and lightest case for the iPhone, that's a decent deal right here. Uh, this feels more like a skin than a, than a case, to be honest. But unlike with the skin, this has the advantage of letting you remove and try different cases. I love how, you know, it sort of camouflages the phone. So, you know, it's, you're now in stealth mode. And it reminds me of that B2 aeroplane, actually, literally wrapping everything away. So you can't even tell really what color my iPhone is now. But the main point is how thin it is, really. The only protection you're gonna get here is against scratches and a little bit of protection uh, on the front screen, but quite minimum protection, I'd say. It feels great on the hand, though, and certainly very different than the stuff I normally review here. But I hope it helps you if you don't like those bulkier cases. You might actually appreciate that about TAC. And with that 10% off, might be worth a try anyway. Before we move on to the next brand, just a quick reminder to like this video if you're getting any value from it. It really helps the channel. And if you like my stuff, there's over 120 videos now for you to enjoy it. Not all of them are good, to be honest with you, but it would mean the world if you subscribe to my channel. I'm here every week. Okay, moving on to mouse. I did a video about mouse actually just before the iPhone 13 was released. So it's nice to finally be able to show you these beautiful cases with the actual phone now in hand and there's a 20% discount code for you that makes this case a really decent option. I was a bit worried about the Sierra Blue, especially around the camera area where you know it wasn't gonna look good, but I think it's a beautiful contrast against Mouse's uh, real material finishes. Leather, walnut, speckled leather, aramid fiber. People always ask me which one I prefer, and having now tried them all, my preference is a combination of uh, grip and style. I love the aramid fiber for the looks, I think that for me that's the best one, but I prefer the leather as it gives me a little bit more grip at the back. The sides are the same grip, but at the back you get a little bit more, more grip on the leather version. Mouse are all about protection though, and if you like mouse, you know that these are not cheap. But I have some great news for you. As I mentioned, there's a code. If you use AlexTech20 at checkout, you get 20% off your order. So definitely worth checking it out. And make sure to check my description as well for the right links to use and the latest discount codes because sometimes they expire and they change. Okay, something else that is definitely worth checking out, especially if you like great quality leather, is the Nomad cases. Their products are incredible. I did a dedicated video on these cases, but I just love how classy these are. Top quality whole wing leather looks and feels better as it ages, just like me. And they now come with a little trick up its sleeves as well, which is this ability to tap your phone to share all your contact details or your socials. Very easy to set up through Popple and a very neat feature that comes with the case, you know, as an extra functionality that you don't see very often. Can't fault this one. Beautiful cases, very stylish. And they have just sent me this leather skin as well and the screen protector to try out. So rather than just unboxing it here, I'll use it for a week or so first and do a video after that and include that in my next episode of this series. Next, another one of my favorite brands. These are from Casetify. Now, Casetify are a partner of the channel for full transparency and they have sponsored other videos, but this one is not sponsored. I just like how protective these cases are and how you can customize them to your liking. Literally, whatever your style, you know, they will have a case for you. I just drop tested the iPhone 13 Pro Max with this case on. It was, uh, yeah, it was a terrifying and nervy job test, but it's a great testament to the product but not a single scuff. I dropped it from quite high as well. Very grippy. They offer this antibacterial coating, which uh, is a great feature, especially these days. Uh, and like mouse, I have a special code that you can use at checkout for 15% off. So yeah, Christmas came early for you. I am aware I'm giving you a lot of information to take in, but don't worry. All of this information is nicely laid out in the description for you. And if you watched all the way through so far, you are a legend. And for that, I shall reward you with two more cases. That's right, we're not done yet. These are some great cases from Taurus. They sent me the iPhone 13 Pro 
so I hope you don't mind. I'll be using some of the dummy devices that I've got here to give you an idea of what they're like. We have a clear case option, which is really nice and sleek. And we have this ultralight option as well. This is a very popular case for the iPhone 12 as well, actually. And I reviewed them last year too. Their camera protection is probably one of the best ones out here. Uh, really nice and high and they feel great too. I feel like their cutouts are symmetrically aligned to the speakers, which is great. I never understand why some of the cases don't do that, but hey, this keeps my OCD in check. Very discreet branding, which I like, that they pride themselves in the fact that they're minimalistic, and I quite like that sometimes, you know, to have a less flashy case, quite understated, but still looks really nice and doesn't break the bank. They have this option here, which not only offers a bit more shockproof, but comes with these extra buttons in different colors, so you can customize them to your liking as well, which is, I think is really cool. And talking about cool, here's something that really surprised me. These are the cases from Touch. I gotta say, they gotta work on that naming, I think. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but I'll stick with Touch. Uh, Touch felt a little bit risky. So it's a folio leather case and it comes with RFID blocking, which, which is great. So if you have a credit card here, you'll be protected against anyone trying to, to nick your details. So it's not just a case, it has multiple functions too. I love when brands do that. But for me, what really surprised me was the level of quality here. They have different options with and without this magnetic clasp. I think the magnetic clasp could be a little bit stronger and I wish the cover would stay a little tighter when, it, when the case is empty, but that's probably me just being overly critical. When you do have a couple of credit cards and money in the case, then the whole thing feels a lot tighter, a lot better. So yeah, it's designed not to be empty. Uh, you get this extra convenience as well of having the phone in this viewing angle, which I think is great. You know, it's a great added bonus. They have various different colors as well, but yeah, don't let the budget price of 20 bucks at the time of recording anyway, fool you because I honestly wasn't expecting this to be a, such a great quality case for this price. All the buttons are decent enough. The interior lining feels nice and soft. I mean, it does add a considerable amount of bulk, but maybe you like that convenience of using your, you know, your case as your wallet and you won't, you know, you won't be bothered by the bulk. It will charge wirelessly, but don't expect any sort of MagSafe connection because there's no magnets here. To be honest, you know, when you go for a case like this, you're probably better off using the cable to charge. Whew. Okay. Right, this is not the type of video that requires a verdict, but I know you. You want to know what my favorite is, and I'm not going to be around the bush here with you. I have a soft spot for mouse for many reasons, but mainly because before I made YouTube videos, I remember trying many cases, but mouse was the one that really suited my needs. So mouse is the case I would recommend for protection, full stop. Uh, I would still recommend a screen protector with any of these cases, by the way, but more on screen protectors in a different video. I would then say that Pitaka with their Pro cases and Castify with their Ultra Impact cases offer very similar level of protections and are my other favorites. And I've drop tested them as well here in previous videos, so I can 100% trust them too. I think it will then come down to preference and style. Castify offer great customization options and Pitaka will offer you you know, beautiful looking Aramid fiber cases. Then you have Nomad, which, you know, when it comes to leather, there's nothing better out there in my view. So I hope that answers the question of what my favorite is. But as I said in the intro, everyone is different and you might actually prefer different cases anyway. I will be reviewing lots more cases from Rhino Shield, Spigen, I've got ESR cases coming in as well, and a few others too. But I hope I gave you enough options here today to get you started and some good discounts as well. One more thing, as they say, if you're looking for iPhone 13 accessories like this beautiful stands from Satechi or these MagSafe accessories from Mouse, check out this playlist here or this video over here where I reviewed some of the coolest accessories for this beautiful device. And I'll see you and your smiling faces over there, hopefully. And don't forget to subscribe.